Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Grace. I uh, thought I'd come to you here with a little video. It's actually uh, April 22nd, uh, Earth Day today, so uh, I thought it was appropriate. We've been, uh, uh, kids have been enjoying the outdoors here today while I've been working, and uh, it's going to rain here soon, so God's going to take care of His creation, so we're trying to get this done here before we uh, uh, possibly get rained on. Uh, but, you know, as Christians, we don't always talk about the importance of taking care of God's creation. We really don't. Um, but, you know, uh, God, Jesus, God says that, uh, uh, you know, he takes care of the birds of the air and uh, all of the earth is uh, his. And Ellie actually has a reading from St. Paul she's going to read here. So I'm going to have her read from uh, Romans 8, starting in verse 18. Want to go, Ellie? For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, his bondage and corruption and obtained the free freedom of the glory of the children of God. Okay. So Ellie, you know, we see in that passage that God says that even creation itself is suffering because of human sinfulness, right? What are some ways that um, that creation is suffering? Litter. Litter. What other things? Pollution. Air pollution. And water pollution. And water pollution. And some other stuff. What about whenever the forests get cut down and the swamps get filled in and all of that stuff too? All those things hurt creation, don't they? You know, but what we see here is that God has a plan for creation. We see in uh, Revelation that... Uh, God's ultimate plan is to come back here and to remake the heavens and the earth. Did you know that, Ellie? We've talked about that, where the lion will lay down with the lamb. Remember that? A little child will play with a venomous snake. Yeah. But that's what we see, don't we? We see that God has plans for creation. He's not just going to throw this old world away, is he? I mean, he came down here to this world, didn't he? If he cared, didn't care for it, he wouldn't have done that, would have he? So, you know, there's a lot of different things that we can do in order to take care of God's creation. So I want to challenge you, and Ellie wants to challenge you, to do some of these things, because uh, every little bit does make a difference. You know, as Christians, I think our witness should be that we want to care for the beauty of God's earth, for the beauty of God's creation, taking care of the animals, and the planet that we live on, because again, God still has plans for this world here. Uh, so what are some ways that we can uh, take care of the earth, Ellie? Um, recycle. We can recycle, that's right. We've started recycling more, haven't we? So grow you can, a garden. You can grow a garden, you can plant trees. What about if you see litter? Should you throw more down? Pick it up. Pick it up, okay. But anyway, there are a lot of wonderful things that we can do, right, Ellie? Because what do we see? We see that God is going to redeem creation itself, and we as Christians, we can start doing that here and now, can't we? Right. So our challenge to you today is to take care of God's good creation because um, God's not done with it, and uh, He wants to use us to redeem uh, the good world that he made. So let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, God of grace and mercy, we thank you for this planet, and we pray, dear God, that we would take care of it. It's the only one we've got, and uh, you have given it to us as a gift. So please, Lord God, uh, help us to do the things that are good and the things that are right um, as an act of worship, because, God, we know you're not done with it. And you know we're not. You're, we know you're not done with us. So we thank you. We praise you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.